Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube, Ryan Engelstad and Gabe Engelstad here speaking about uh, one of our new acquisitions we got used. Someone was divulging themselves of a few uh, blasters. This was one of them. So we got ourselves into the Spring Thunder ecosystem. We don't know a lot about it, but we we're learning. And it's been a lot of fun as we've been dealing with a uh, virus of unknown origin in our house. So we've been had a little bit of extra time on our hands, so we've been uh, doing some projects, and now we got to mess with this. So, so like I said, we got it used. So one of the things with 3D printed blasters, uh, half the fun is building it yourself. Helps you understand the intricate, uh, you know, workings and how how it goes together and how to fix it and how to replace parts. Um, so, like I said, we're learning. There's a, there's always gonna be more to learn. Uh, it came with a bag full of shells. Fifty. Fifty shells. Yeah. And some of them were for elite darts. Some of them were for rival and a bandolier. So we'll talk about what we like and what we don't like. The handle is definitely made for an adult. I wish the pump grip was a little bit bigger, but um, we can also buy the. Uh, slanted foregrip pump grip. Yep, there's, that's another nice thing about these blasters is you can, there's no lack of accessories you can modify them with. Uh, when we got it, it came with the, uh, holder? Hold yeah, it? the magnet holder that I have my armor that can put it on my shoulder blade to keep it there when I'm fighting and then take it back out. So, it is neat. Um, I don't know if you can put a rail on the top with all those little holes. Yep. So, like I said, we're still, we're still learning. So, he is going to fire off a few for you to, I think we got rival loaded first. Five rival, five elites. And we got five elites. So. And that's the fun part. Oh. I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> ah. Aim it right at your cameraman. Good idea. Yes, always. Just go with it. It's not gonna load. Well, if I don't. I don't, definitely don't think there's a problem with uh, double loading. So these are the triple shotgun. Rival shells. So there you go, and we'll show you the loading, how to load up the shells. We were joking about how uh, you know competition shotguns sometimes have those five foot long uh, tubes off the front of the shotguns because it doesn't have to be tactical; it can just be. Uh, you know, whatever. Might be kind of interesting. Man, that really needs some fine tuning, that part, doesn't it? Do you need to pump back? No. All right. Okay. It definitely has a heavy duty spring in it. So at this point, I'm not going to recommend using this one in battle yet <laughs> until we work out some of the kinks out of it.
<laughs> All right, that's it. So, this is one of the things, like I said, uh, it's a 3D printed. We still got some some uh, tinkering to do with it to see if uh, what we're going to do with it. It is fun. We have seen it used in uh, battles where you can, you know, split it up, where you know you have a couple elite rounds to, uh, you know, at the beginning of the battle, so you can be a sniper, and then as your enemies move closer, you load in the rival shells or have the rival shells loaded, so that you can shotgun as they get closer. But uh, we'll uh, we'll keep messing with it. I know there's things like the Colonel Wasp Firefly that have been very popular lately, and. Uh, but this is just another one of those things. It might not be the most highest performing blaster, especially with some of the new dart zone offerings as far as, uh, you know, being able to spam a whole lot of darts in a hurry. But I think this was one of those ones where you put you play with it because it's fun and it's uh, unique and, it you know, a little bit more personalization, a little bit more, you know, your colors, you know, your your behavior, your fun. So I'm going to fire that last one. There you go. And there were two shells in there. <laughs> so, we'll keep working on this one. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Alright. Thanks. Bye. Bye.